This is a demonstration of adding iPod and high definition radio in the 2008 and select 2009 Ford and Mercury vehicles equipped with this standard center stack radio with an external SAT tuner. If you remove the radio and there's a mini coaxial plug plugged into the back of this standard radio about right behind here, that means you have an internal SAT tuner and that operation is covered in a different video. So we're going to cover the mode switching menu, how do you select between the HD modes and the iPod mode, and we're going to go in and cover some of its operation. To gain access to the HD and FM, the HD, FM, AM, and iPod mode, you want to hit the SAT button. There's HD, FM, we give you three bands. HD, FM, each give you six unique presets. One band of HD, AM with six presets, you got iPod. No audio for options that aren't currently installed. Aux 1. I'm just going to go right back around to HDFM. It works like a circular queue. So we're going to show you HDFM real quick. As you can see, this station is locked into HD. At that point, you can hit the text button. It's going to show you artist and song. To control the HD tutor, your tune is going to tune. Seek a seek. Once you lock into an HD station, you can then use tune and seek to access the different HD simulcasts. So once it locks in HD1, so you can see the text behind the frequency. Use the tune knob if they're transmitting an HD2 to tune to that. If they're transmitting into an HD3, it will tune to that. If there's no more HD simulcasts, tune will just start to act like tune at that point. Presets as you saw, there's one button, press to recall. You want to store one, it's just press and hold. I'll wait for that volume text to clear. HD AM is going to work exactly the same way. Just listen to AM frequencies instead of FM. And that covers your HD radio operation. Now we're going to go into iPod. In iPod, there's basic controls and advanced controls. Your basic controls just can be track forward and track back using the two knob or the seek button. Push the text button, we'll show you the, the, the artists, time, and back the song. Push and hold preset 6 is fast forward. Push and hold 5 is rewind. 4 is going to change your text to time. And 3 is random song, random album, random off. That's your basic iPod controls. Now we're going to show you the advanced iPod controls. Advanced iPod controls give you the ability of browsing by playlist, album, artist, track, genre, composer. To bring that menu up, press preset 2. Then use the tune knob, that's going to show you all your browsing options. Like I said, playlist, artist, album, track, genre, composer. We'll go ahead and browse by playlist. Press 2 to select the playlist. We're now going to show you all the playlists available on your iPod or iPhone. Choose a playlist, and we'll go ahead and choose a track within that playlist. At any time you want to back out one browsing menu level, you can press preset one, and that will bring you back one step while you're browsing if you change your mind. And that's gonna that covers your iPod basic and advanced controls. And then real quick, if factory SAT were installed in this car, in this vehicle, um, SAT one, two, and three would, would show up as serious. We do fully retain the factory satellite tuner if it were in the car. This is aux one. And that's the port we have the iPhone here plugged into. What this is going to give you the ability to do of, is manually selecting your music on your iPod or iPhone. But it no longer gives you text. Or do you lose the ability of browsing the iPod from the radio. Um, but like I said, now you can directly control the iPod. It still does give you track forward and track back using the tuner seek knobs or tune knob and seek buttons. And that's a demonstration of high definition radio and iPod in 2008 and select 2009 Ford and Mercury vehicles.